Florida is in turmoil as Hurricane Milton, a fierce Category 3 storm, makes landfall. The hurricane brought winds exceeding 100 miles per hour and unleashed tornadoes across the state. Coastal areas, including Tampa, St. Petersburg, and Sarasota, are grappling with a menacing storm surge while heavy rains threaten inland flooding. The impact? Over one million homes and businesses plunged into darkness, with Sarasota and Manatee counties hit hardest by power outages. Officials have been urging residents to evacuate, stressing the storm's lethal potential, especially after the recent devastation from Hurricane Helene. Social media is flooded with shocking videos of funnel clouds swirling in Palm Beach County and other regions. The hurricane's path is set to cross the state, including Orlando, before re-emerging over the Atlantic Ocean by Thursday. Before even making landfall, Milton wreaked havoc, destroying approximately 125 homes, primarily in senior mobile home communities. This adds insult to injury for a region still reeling from the catastrophic flooding and loss of life caused by Hurricane Helene. In response, officials have deployed the National Guard, utility workers, and gasoline tankers to support evacuation and recovery efforts. They continue to emphasize the critical importance of heating evacuation orders, as emergency services will be severely limited during the storm's peak. Yet for some residents like Jackie Koenig of Sarasota, evacuation isn't straightforward. Affordable accommodations are scarce, and navigating a peninsula in the midst of a hurricane poses extreme challenges. The storm's wrath is far-reaching, with bridge closures, flight cancellations, and even the shutdown of popular theme parks. Florida stands at a crossroads, battling nature's fury once again. Stay tuned, stay safe, and heed the warnings. This is a storm no one can afford to underestimate. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe.